Okay, hello, Fourplex Investment Group clients. We are so glad, glad that you're with us today. We have Curtis Ray with us, and we're going to do a quick interview to talk to Curtis Ray about the NPI system. Curtis is the founder and owner of Suncor Financial, and he's one of our major sponsors for the upcoming Intermountain Real Estate Investment Summit. We are so excited to have Curtis to hear from him and his team about some of the solutions they've created for financial strategies. And you think, why are we having someone like Curtis at a real estate investment summit? Well, hopefully you're gonna learn that just a taste today, but I want Curtis to talk about that a little bit yourself. So Curtis, I'm gonna turn the time over to you. Quick introduction, tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you, Steve. Thank you for the introduction also. My name's Curtis Ray, I'm, I live in Gilbert, Arizona. I am the, I own four different businesses, so they're all profit generating, so we like to make money. I got into financial planning about five years ago off a simple question on where should I put my money? You know, everyone always tells you how to make money, but nobody ever tells you how to keep money. And yeah. so kind of the theory and why I really go out and talk to people is, hey, there's a million ways to make money. There are very, very few ways of keeping your money and keeping it growing and securing. Nice, excellent, great introduction, I'm glad. So, so we'll keep this short and sweet. We wanna just let our audience get a little bit or know a little bit about you, or learn a little bit about you. So I'm gonna start with some questions we have just for you, Curtis. So first off here, what is different from your strategy compared to a typical financial advisor? Well, glad you asked that question because that is probably the most common question I get asked being relatively new in the industry. People go, what sets you apart from everyone else? And I say, because my focus is on income optimization. Income optimization is not account value or accumulated value or equity value or all the different things we typically focus on. Income is a completely separate thing. A lot of people don't realize inside of 401k and IRA, they're really good investment platforms, but they're not very good retirement platforms. Investment platforms and retirement platforms are completely different because one has a lot of risk in it and one's not supposed to have risk in it. And so when you want to focus on income and maximizing your retirement spendable income, it has to have a certain focus, which don't exist in the 401k and IRA and the traditional plans we typically have. And so that's what sets me apart is always focusing on different features, different benefits, how you maximize your security, and ultimately having the best retirement possible. Excellent. Man, those are all great things. Who doesn't want that? I mean, that's a fantastic thing that sets you apart. So you recently uh, published a book that I believe is an Amazon bestseller as well. Is that right? Yes, Amazon number one seller for two days and then became an Amazon bestseller. Wow, congratulations. That's an incredible accomplishment. At the young age of 21, that's fantastic. So. <laughs> well, for our audience, right? So uh, tell us a little bit about this book. I didn't want to spoil the title. I think it's a great title. Tell us the title and about this book. So the title is named is called Everyone Ends Up Poor, Why Financial Planning is All Backwards and How to Fix It. And when I was coming up with the title, people were like, what are you going to call it? And I'm like, has to be something that draws people's attention. And a lot of people don't realize that a 401k and IRA, like I previously mentioned, aren't designed to produce income. And so when you put your money in those type of platforms, everyone ends up poor. There's this rule in financial planning called the 4% rule. And if you want to Google right now and fact check this, type in Google 4% rule, and it will say the rule of thumb of how much a retiree should withdraw from their nest egg in order to secure retirement for life, basically not to outlive your money. And the rule is 4%, meaning if you have $1 million inside your nest egg, you're only supposed to withdraw 40000 a year and then get taxed on it. If you have 500000 you're only supposed to withdraw $20,000 a year and then get taxed on it. The average nest egg only has $200,000 in it. And a lot of people think, holy crap, I'm rich. I have $200,000. I'm ready to retire now. And they don't realize that their 401k or IRA or whole life is only going to produce them around $8,000 of spendable retirement income. No. Then plus the security. The average person retires off of thirty to forty thousand dollars a year, and when you take inflation into consideration, everyone unfortunately ends up poor. You've got to bypass that. The, the, the flaws of the four hundred one k and IRA are easily bypassed, where you end up getting eight, ten, twelve, fifteen percent income for life if you understand the rules of the game. And so my book spells out. It's fifteen chapters. It's only a hundred pages long, but it spells out systematically on how you bypass the flaws of traditional financial planning 
and reverse the order. So instead of getting a lot of really aggressive rates return in your early years and then downsizing, we do it opposite. We start off slow and steady wins the race and ultimately double our income in retirement. Wow. Excellent. So there's misconceptions in the financial world, obviously, because it's just, it's a massive variable pit of confusing lingo and strategies and a lot of conflicting strategies as well. So I'm really glad that you're going to clear up some of the muddy waters. Tell us top three misconceptions in financial investing. I always say there's a whole chapter in my book about this, but the number one misconception I have for especially entrepreneurs and real estate agents and people who go out there and just kill it is never trust your business. Your business is not a financial plan. There is a 95% chance or 90, the statistic is 95% of all small businesses eventually go out of business before retirement years. So statistics aren't very likely that your business you're in today or your portfolio that you have, or all the different things you do to make money are going to be there for you when you go to retire. And so I tell people, we're only in business for one reason, and that is to put money away for our future. When we go out there and work every single day and make a ton of money, it should be with an eye, with a, a focus to set money aside for your future. So my number one misconception is your business is not your financial plan. And if you try to make your business your financial plan for the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years, all the way to the day you die, you have a high likelihood that you'll end up poor and we want to avoid that. So exactly. it's definitely something we don't, we don't want to cross is when you get 64 years old, you've invested every single dollar possible into your financial plan and ultimately it goes out of business and what do you do now? You're 64 and now your business just went out of business. Yeah, you end up as a greeter somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And that, that's, that's unfortunate. What I mean. Yeah, those that's are great points. Oh, sorry, yeah, the second misconception people have is that you should take a lot of risk when you're younger because you always have time to recover. And we hear that all the time. Oh, you're young. You have plenty of time to recover. Because of that mentality that take risk when you're younger and then minimize it later or avoid it later is why everyone ends up poor and why the 4% rule exists. The 4% rule exists because when you're younger, you're getting like 10% rate of return on your money. And then as you get older, you're supposed to allocate your funds to more conservative things, which eventually you're only getting three to 4% compound interest in, in your 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. And a lot of people don't realize your compound interest is your income. However much your portfolio or your assets are growing in retirement, that is your income. So you don't want to take risk in your early years. You just want to be slow and steady. You want to go get seven to eight percent, but maintain seven to eight percent. And that will double your income off of that, off that tiny little switch and mindset of, hey, slow and steady. We don't need home runs. Home runs aren't designed for retirement planning. They're designed for investing. But once you get past investment, you need income. And income comes from compound interest. Excellent. Thank you. And then, um, wait one second. The last misconception that a lot of people talk to me about and and. You'll see it everywhere. You'll see it the Dave Ramsey's of the world, the Susie Ormans, and, and most all financial advisors is they say insurance products are too expensive and you should never, ever mix insurance and investments together. And what they don't realize, that's a huge misconception. Although a majority of insurance products are really, really expensive and they don't perform very well, there are a few exclusive insurance products out there that will outperform anything by how they're designed, by keeping the cost low, still getting the, the security of insurance products, but ultimately outperforming everything in the market just because they're designed in security and income optimization. Insurance products are designed for income, not for home runs. And so when people are like, oh, well, they, they underperform. They do. They, they, they provide less accumulated value or less equity or less cash value, but produce you double or triple the income. So what's more important, having more money in your nest egg or being able to spend more of it? Great, great points. Well, I tell you what, Curtis, I've really enjoyed uh, kind of reconnecting with you. Uh, to the audience here, Curtis Ray and I actually went to high school 20 years ago and uh, knew each other back then. I have not seen Curtis for almost 20 years. Got a random message, said, hey, Steve, I just wrote a book. You need to read it. So I did. Wrote, read it on some flights to Houston and back. It was just a one flight read loved the book. So I can definitely endorse this book. I think his planning is spot on, his strategy is spot on, and uh, my mind 
totally blown. So Curtis, thank you. We're so excited to have you at the upcoming summit. Last thing for the audience here, someone wants to set up a consultation or get to know you or your company better, where do they go? You know, I'm gonna answer one little, one little thought first because sure. a lot of people ask me, why are you going to a real estate convention? You're a financial advisor, you're kind of opposite of real estate. And so if you don't mind, I'm gonna talk, do one minute on that. Yeah, go for I've, it. I've been researching real estate, I've been researching 401ks, IRAs, insurance products, all of them. And I've determined that real estate is one of the best investment platforms out there. More on the short term, they are rock stars. You can make a bunch of money really quick in real estate. It's a great thing for tax advantages, security, all the different things. But it does also have a flaw of risk. And so I like to use all my real estate um, clients, I have a bunch of them, is I say use your real estate to fund your financial plan. Go out there and kill the real estate, but ultimately you need something that's secure that is income optimization and so they both go hand in hand they work hand in hand and that's why a lot of my clients are real estate agents is because they're going out there and killing it but they need a place to put their profits they need a place that has all the advantages of long-term security and growth and so if you want to reach out to me my uh, email address is curtis c-u-r-t-i-s at suncorefinancial.com suncor is s-u-n-c-o-r so it's Curtis at suncorefinancial.com. My website is suncorefinancial.com. Or you can text me or call me at 480-748-5825. And I don't answer a lot because I do four to six consultations a day. But outside of that, I'll always reach back out to you or text you back. So thank you again, Steve, for your time. Absolutely. Curtis, thank you so much. We're excited for our audience to get to know you. And uh, it'll be fun to hear all the different opinions. We're going to have people talking about real estate and bashing on your world and you get to come and give them a different viewpoint. And I think that's awesome. That's what this summit is all about. We want- I bash in my world too. My world is designed <laughs> backwards and there's so many flaws inside of the system. But if you, if you know the rules of the game and you play the rules to exactness, there are some amazing things that come from it. And that's my, that's my forte is understanding the game and we're gonna play it to exactness so that we, we win, we get all the benefits and features. Awesome. Thank you, Curtis. We are so excited to see you at the show. And audience, thank you for listening. We'll see you Friday and Saturday. Thank you. I'll see you then. Bye.